Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 of Dropout Idol Free Tarts. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm a little cold. Oh! <laughs> Is her skirt too short? <laughs> Poor Hayu. <laughs> I, you know, like I, I got dressed, ready for school. I'm at school, and then the most embarrassing thing happens. Oh God. <laughs> hurts so much but it feels so good <laughs> I'm sorry I, I pulled a neck a muscle in my neck a couple of days ago really bad and so it's been hurting for the past few days and it's slowly but surely healing but anytime when I try to like strain and move my neck like oh the, it's the worst slash best pain <laughs> Yeah. No, you need special ones, pretty ones. It's fine. I get the fact that you're so afraid. I mean, most girls, including myself, we were all freaking afraid of going on Andre Shore. Because most of us thought we weren't that mature. I know I was, but I can't speak for everybody. it's fine you know it's like an addiction basically when you buy one you end up buying more than one and then you're just like going nuts out for underwear I can't say the same thing for guys when they go out and buy boxers or briefs but for me <laughs> it depends because <laughs> there's really cute ones <laughs> So it's everybody. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. girlfriends you have each other <laughs>
Maybe because you two just, I mean, you both stand out, not only because your main characters and idols, but I think, I, who knows? You're right about that. <laughs> well, yeah, Roko's more popular because, you know. Hey, Hamo. The love of my life wants to go get panties. Hmm? One, I, I love that. That is so fucking cute, especially with the mouse ears. Cute but deadly. Need me one of those. They better start releasing Taser guns like that, I swear to God. I mean, because there are some that are cute, but like, Mickey Mouse ears, yeah, it's like, the cutest. <laughs> Oh god. Oh okay. <laughs> Hi you. It's just because you're still small. It's okay. Think of it as like a fun adventure with your girlfriends. She's right. We're gonna find cute ones for you. Hi, oh my God! Please don't cry. <laughs> They're all pretty. Oh, the pink ones are cute, and the blue ones. Is that about brown or tannish? Pretty. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. It's cute though, but I get that. See, me and Nina, we know that. We know that. We get the like not cute ones because we got our, our you know, boob size is too big, but you gotta go to certain stores just to get some cute ones. Let me do that again. Cute ones. Cause you go to a like a, if you go to like a regular typical store, fifty out of fifty, you tell them your size, and then they're like, "Here's the non cute ones," and I'm just like, "If I wanted a regular white, black, brown, tan one, I get it. I don't always want those ones. I want cute ones." And that's why, like, for me, I always kind of shop online. Because there's cuter ones online than in store. Also, you match? <laughs> yeah, good see. Yeah, because she's so in love with you. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Because something tells me Hemo is going to be sniffing the crap out of them stockings when, you know, no one is on her. No cameras, nothing. And that's going to be creepy as hell. <laughs> so, how do you feel? <laughs> oh, that purple so cute. I love it. Perfect. The things that we have to pay for. Mm-hmm. Watch Ho-Ho say no, though. Huh. Emma, did you want to get panties? Look so cute on you, oh my god. Oh. You look so adorable, all of you, oh my god. All young women now. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a Leva. Nice. All this for panty shopping, you know. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. I'm hungry. That's sweet. Oh, fuck. Yeah. No pressure, girls. Relax, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh, don't be jealous. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It'll be okay. You got a whole day to try again. The smell. Mm. 
Nina? Even though you're my best girl and I love you. What the heck? <laughs> so, hi, hi. Oh my god. Well, hold on. How many more days do you girls have to, like, still do the recording session? Like, two, three, four? Then you just take that time out, boost your confidence back up, and come back as a better person. Oh. <laughs> Poor baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get that. <gasps> oh, what the heck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's okay because everybody gets nervous. I get nervous. Hell, I got nervous the very first time I did a YouTube video and now look at me. Hell, I think I was more nervous doing a live stream for the first time. Than do a YouTube video because it's so easy now. But I remember, I think, what, 2016 was, like, the very first, 20, like, mid, end of 2016, early 2017 is when I started, like, my first live stream. And I was hella nervous, even though we just talked about random stuff. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, did you have to say it like that? That is so mean. I mean, oh my God. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it could be like something you're working towards. <laughs> okay.
Ich bin nicht mehr. Uh oh, Roko. Nina, what's... Uh, of course, it's the smell. Uh, <laughs> I can't. What about Hamo? Because, you know... Eno's breathing. Oh my god! <laughs> really not even breathing, more panting. I mean, wrong? <laughs> you know, th there's crazy, and then there is Hemo. Hemo is just like up there. <laughs> Hemo, what the hell? Oh my god. I love Hemo though. She crazy. She a little crazy, but it's okay. That's why we love her. But still, Nina is my best girl. But Nina, being in love with a recording room smell, like... What it smell like to you? That's what I, I mean. Like I'm, I, I can't believe I'm curious about that. Because I've never been in a recording studio to say like, okay... To like, let me smell everything and just, mm, and rejuvenate in that is. But I, you know, I mean, whatever floats your boat. Everybody has weird favorite things. But Nina? <laughs> Nina, I, I don't know. I really don't know what the hell to say about that. I mean, honestly, I thought, you know, growing up as a kid, eating like, my dad did this one time, and I thought this was so disgusting. People who eat eggs and ketchup? Mm-mm. Me, I thought I was weird when I had, like, macaroni and cheese and, like, um, barbecue sauce, but I liked it. I, I haven't, like, had that in a while before, though. But, I don't know. <laughs> I hope the song's good, though. What the hell is this? They literally sound like they are on some drugs. <laughs> they tried it. They're gonna make carry on. But literally, the best thing about this episode was them honestly really, even though they're going laundry shopping for, you know, work, seeing them do something, even though still it, it's something normal, but still at the same time for work, of course, it was interesting. I mean, because, you know, it makes those little moments where you go out with your girlfriends and such and you go to the mall or whatever and you just say, okay, I just need a shopping day, you know, re uh therapy shopping therapy ish like that and that's what they kind of needed and la lingerie basically but oh my god yes the lingerie was cute af i want it like oh my god i think ne the purple one that nina had was possibly the best one because me and nina big boobs <laughs> struggle of course <laughs> and everything but i mean how i love the fact that they even talked about or just showed as someone who has a bigger chest size, we always don't get the cute stuff as much as everyone who has a smaller size than us. I mean, now it's it, the normal, the, the what it was growing up for me, like I said, it used to be black, whites, tans, and then maybe browns or whatever. That's my normal when I was growing up. Now the new normal is 
you know, bigger the chest size, you get pretty colors too. And, and just, and pretty things. And just, oh my god. It's so pretty and I love it so much because... I think anytime when I go raw shopping, like, or just lingerie shopping in general, like, I always grab cheetah print because it's just so good. And I'm like, oh my god, it's pretty and I love it so much. Either that or lace because it's just super duper pretty and you just gotta love it. And it just looks so good on you and you're just like, oh my god, like, look at me. I mean, they all grown into women. They're not children anymore, even though they're actually really all of them except... Is Hemo even in high school? I mean, do we count that? Because I think she is. I mean, that's the same thing with Roko Senpai's sister. Because I think Roko Senpai's sister and the other two from um, her group are all in middle school. So then Hemo's also in middle school. Well, yeah, Hemo became a young woman. They all became young women. Well, no. Hemo and the other three became young women. And then the, the girls are officially women, uh, uh, even though they're in high school. But the, it looks so cute. It just makes me kind of want to go laundry shopping in spite of the quarantine. <laughs> but it was a cute episode. I just, the singing, yeah, take two. We need a retake on that so, so bad. <laughs> like, they tried it, like, but mm, not their best. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 7 of Dropout Idol Fruit Tart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 8. Bye, guys.